Hello Dolce feels with joy as he shares new video of son with second wife Judy Austin. He says Star DK is growing so fast. Moving on after this we have Sophia Momo continues to rant and shares cryptic notes on narcissists and gaslighters. She says financial abuse is domestic violence. But before I commence with the full gist, welcome to Apricot DCV, a platform where we keep you updated and informed on any latest matters happening on social media. If you haven't already, do subscribe to our YouTube page. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when next we drop our next video. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Apricot Gist to all our wonderful returning subscribers. Much love for me here. Thank you for your consistency and support. We do not take you for granted. Now to all our viewers, relax, enjoy, and stay tuned. Unbothered Yolo Dolce is in the news again for another season as he shares a video of his first child with second wife Judy Austin. In the video, his son Star DK was captured by Yolo Dolce himself moving around and flipping his toys around in their living room. Popular Nigerian actor Yolo Dolce recently gave his followers something smooching to watch as he shared an adorable family video of Star DK, his son with second wife Judy Austin. The clip showed Little Star running and flipping his toys around their living room as Judy tried to get him stable. Yol is heard commenting on his little boy for a moment to the house. The actor gushed about the little man and admitted that he is growing so fast. Yol shared the video on his official Facebook page and captioned it. This is coming after Yol and Judy attracted a series of backlashes following a video of her thanking God for having a safe delivery and how the Holy Spirit has been good to her and by her side. This Yolo Dolce of a person, I feel like this man is a bit heartless, not even to think he is actually kind of heartless, especially towards his first wife, me. Okay, he didn't shower this Judy with this kind of attention and care when his first male child was still alive. The one that may born but now that this one first male child is alive is joshua wearing one kind of care and affection towards her like not even trying to do something like post her picture on social media telling her how beautiful she is you know all those sweet words that you know reasonable men 
say to their wife especially when they know that their wife is going through a hard time he didn't even bother to do any of that but has now diverted his full attention to judy austin and star even though may doesn't seek attention and validation especially for my husband because of you know he has married a second wife and she she's moving on with her life he should use his common sense to know that that woman will not be 100 percent happy with the way he's indirectly shading her and taunting her on social media okay the first one came he posted her praising god and all that not saying it's not good to praise god but at least he should have let her doesn't she have her own instagram handle facebook handle to post her thing herself that one is dear secondly not trying to say he don't post out anything their husband and wife and he's obligated to do that but not in this trying period especially now that his first wife will be going through a lot okay now secondly he still posted i again you know selling all the haters that yo your courses are god is turning it into blessing why didn't he let her post it now he's now coming out let's say he's just trying to tell us directly that he doesn't care about me because me doesn't have his first meal child that's exactly what he's trying to throw at us indirectly he playing around with the first child of his second wife judy what exactly what exact picture is he trying to paint to people of the net if not he's trying to tell us that is the first son bearer that he is concerned about and not the mother or the wife so guys moving on after this we have Sophia Momodu, a fashion guru and an influencer, has continued to drag the video the father of her child. Sophia Momodu released an audio samples of people talking about narcissists and coronary gaslighting in a series of posts on her Instagram story. She highlighted in one of the posts that the financial abuser is a form of domestic abuse. Financial abuse is domestic abuse, she wrote. Momodu has gone on a long rant against the exploitation of women finances. According to the mother of one, intimidating a woman financially into staying with you has got to be the most disgusting thing a man can do. Sophia Momodu complained about the Nigerian system, saying it lacks the laws that protect women and children. In a series of tweets on her Twitter page, she questioned why a guy would force a woman to shoulder his responsibilities because she makes the decision to go forward and never look back. Sophia, though, didn't mention anyone's name in her lengthy article. Many, however, believe she was referring to the video. Reacting to this, the video took to his Twitter page to share a screenshot of him doing his unavailable dance while adding that he has got no time for Wahala. Hitting back at him on her Snapchat page, Sophia Momodu warned him not to dare her. The mother of one vowed to spill the tears if he continues to provoke her. She says, don't dare me or I'm gonna set it all on fire. Is it just me or do I feel this intense energy coming out from Sophia Mamodo? Like she has something to spill, she has something to say, something that is really, really important. And she's just using these cryptic, cryptic notes just to escape and relieve some of the pressure. We all know she only has one child and that one child she has is for David Doe. So is she referring to David Doe one way or another? She should let us know instead of keeping us in the dark why we accuse her of things that might not be true why would she be dragging the riddle through the mud and what exactly is this thing that is on her mind that is making her feel extremely restless to the extent that she has to find a means of escape that is why she is bringing out this cryptic cryptic note we are here anytime she is ready to actually go straight to the point and tell us exactly what the hell is happening to her because people are just going to unnecessarily hate on her or does she just want to trend could this be a means to trend? So guys, let us know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section. We would love to hear from you. Whatever your opinions, your thoughts and contributions are, hit us up in the comment section provided for you. We would love to hear from you. And if you haven't, guys, what are you waiting for? Do subscribe to our YouTube page at Apoko TV. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so you will not miss out when next you drop an next spicy, juicy, hot video for your pleasure. While you're at it, do follow us on our Facebook platform at Apoko Gs, where it's our duty to keep you informed and entertained on trending latest matters happening on social media. Thank you all so, so much for staying tuned with us up to this point. We did do appreciate it as sadly we have come to the end of today's segment. To like on your minutes, guys, do stay. Stay safe.